Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion guys and today I want to talk up to you guys about how safe these cars are, Infinity cars, but also just any cars on the market because it's quite amazing that we actually live. But otherwise than that guys, let's jump into it. Alright guys, so I wanted to make this video number one, shout out to all the Kobe fans. Matter of fact, shout out to anybody who ever lost anybody, okay? No matter if you're a Kobe fan or not. Regardless, at the end of the day, we all lost somebody we love, and we it, I think it's right that we should just have a quick moment of silence just for anyone who lost someone that they actually care about, they looked up to, because I know I have, I know you have, and it's it's just right. So uh, just give it a two second. All right, guys, so let's y'all jump right into it, okay? Um, when you think about these manufacturers, they want to make faster cars, right? Because and or more fuel efficient cars, that's why they add turbos onto it. So they can still have power, but also have smaller four cylinder or six cylinder motors, right? But also they have to make cars safer. And when we really sit there and think about this idea of making cars safer, we actually take for granted that there's an engineer, engineers out there who literally sat there to try to find different ways on making us survive an accident. Period. Look at it. Hellcats 700, 800 horsepower, GT 500s. They have to put the same stringent um, safety test to try to make sure that we live. We live through this. 30 years ago, a lot of us cannot go through the accident we went through that some of us guys are going through right now. Shout out to Derek and shout out to um, Just Another Q50, formerly known now Just Another um, M340, and the other video I'm displaying on this video. Shout out to that young lady. Because at the end of the day, these cars save our lives. And as much as we wanna go have quicker cars and live this ratchet lifestyle, <laughs> and do roll racing or whatever you just do to, as, as a pleasure with your car because that's why you guys are watching me because you like cars too. At the end of the day, I just want to shout out to the companies and the engineers and just the people who saved us, save us at the end of the day because if it wasn't for them, yo, we can lose a lot more people out there that we love and care about. And I just want to say this as a quick closer to the video because I just want to make it quick. Uh, Guys, we live a life that's in a routine, right? We have this routine we live every day. And we just take for granted that that routine could change at any time. You know, I get in my car, drive to work, I do my work, I come back, drive back. That's it. That, that's my routine. But one day I might go to work and I may not have my legs anymore. I might not be able to walk because of someone who fell asleep behind the wheel. You know what I'm saying? Or I might have been driving so bad that that one turn... I just lost control and that axle popped out and that's it, you know, and I just wanted to make that video just shouting all you guys out, man. I just want to say I love all you guys who watch me, who follow me. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys ask me so much freaking questions too. You're like brothers that just keep going and going and going and some of my sisters too. But uh, I love you guys for that and um, I appreciate this whole community for coming out and hanging out with me. I'm um, definitely going to try to do some more stuff in 2020 and I just hope I get to see some of you guys out there with me. So yes guys, just want to bring close out. So if you guys want to ask me more questions about the Q50, Q60 community, you know where to hit me up at. Boost in Motion on IG and Facebook and Boost in Motion at gmail.com. You guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Have a good day.